Yo, what's up everybody? It's Stefan here from Mod Fame, and we are starting today's video back at the Dodge dealership. The reason why we are back at the Dodge dealership is because six days before Mod the Fame Fest, the check engine light came back on on Cheapo Kitty. Man, oh man, let's jump into this. Let's go. Yo, what's up everybody? Back with a gym update. That's right, we haven't been putting it in the videos much, but we still out here making it happen, man. Me and my boy Eugene, you know what's up. But anyway, just to give y'all a little update, your boy is down seven pounds now. Uh, it's officially been, what has it been? I think it's week four? Four, man. All right, so this is week four. So in three weeks, your boy lost seven pounds. He's coming down. The, the chest is coming down, the stomach is coming down, but uh, now Maul is about to put us on a meal plan. So this is where it's really supposed to come in because although I've been making a little better choices, I haven't been like 100 doing the right thing. So that's about to start, starting this week. I'm super shook, but we're gonna jump into it. There you go, that's a gym update for you. Remember, our trainer, his logical sense at logical sense or his fitness Instagram page is find yourself. You find yourself. I'm gonna make sure that's right. I believe that's what it is. So we're gonna bring y'all with us to the gym real quick for you know this hour right here as we hit it. Starting out with a little treadmill warm up. Let's get it. Yo Ma. Yo Ma. I saw you working out for the first time today, bro. Looked like you was really hitting it. I didn't know you worked out. Did it? Uh, did it, bro. I didn't know you worked out, bro. Uh, that's crazy, right? I swear, I didn't know. No, I just checked. I thought, it, I thought that just happened naturally for yeah, you. Yeah, you know? I didn't know you actually worked out. Yeah, that's crazy. I wish. You know, I'll be... I wish I didn't have to work out. Yo, so what's up, yo? This is week four, man. How we looking? How we feeling? I'm mad at something bad out there, y'all. I'm looking bad out here. I just finished telling them I'm doing better. Yeah, this is for me. Man. Why, man. This is for me I don't man. know about all of them. <laughs> Damn, yo. I thought a trainer. Uh, me or him? That's you, bro. That's you. I, thought, you. I thought a trainer was supposed to encourage you. And motivate you. That's what I thought. But, but I'm here to discourage. I guess he knows that my type of personality, my type of personality, I get, I guess, motivated by, you know, the haters. Yeah, you know, it's like the car game. The more shit you talk, the more motivated you get. <laughs> Yo, so what weight is this? Shorty knocking them out. I think she a weight heavier than mine, right? It's a weight heavier than mine, right? Yeah. I think I was on 225 and she on 210. That means she lives the more her own body weight than you are. That's great. Exactly. Yo, this dude is on one today. He is really on one today. He's trying to hurt feelings. Ma, F you, I quit. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> that guy, bro. I'm done. I'm done. All right, y'all. Uh, let me give you some backstory on this. So, I'm on my way home from picking up the car. Car is running great. Feels great. You know, y'all saw when I left the dealership how I kind of hit it. So, the car is running strong. It's running really nice. So all of that is good, but driving home, I get about 10 miles from home and the check engine light comes on and I'm like, come on, man, you gotta be kidding me. So I look through the codes. One code is for my exhaust flat valve, which I know I just got an oil. That's something that comes on and off. Uh, with the Hellcats, um, they have the um, exhaust flap, which opens and closes to make it more quiet or loud. And sometimes they malfunction and they throw off a check engine light. So that was one of the codes. So no biggie there. Um, but another code that really concerned me was a code for um, the fuel pump, not it, the car not communicating with the fuel pump properly or not communicating with the fuel pump. Meanwhile, mechanically, the car is running great. I'm driving all this time as I'm reading these codes. So, man, I don't know. But we are six days away from Mod the Fame Fest. I'm just hoping that it's just some sort of a little trigger maybe a ground i don't know who knows i don't want to start guessing but i'll let them tell me in a few minutes and we got stuff to do with cheapo kitty we're trying to get it ready 
for Sunday, we got wheels coming for the car. We got tires coming for the car. We got a few other things I don't want to tell y'all about quite yet coming for the car to get it ready. So, so like I said, just a couple days away, we got things we need to do. Um, and we got some surprises for you guys. So I want to get to those videos. But first, we got to make sure that Cheapo Kitty is 100%. Um, good to go because we are going to hot lap this car. I don't intend to baby the car at the track I intend to really go for it. So I need to make sure that it's a hundred percent and the thing is I'm not trailering this car either I'm driving it down to Maryland and driving it back if it breaks. I don't know what the hell I'm about I didn't even think about god damn it. I didn't think about that part <laughs> Well fingers crossed nothing happens and it doesn't break. Let's see what they say about cheapo kitty Put right now in the comments what you guys think. And listen, I just, again, if you guys are not subscribed, you're watching the videos. I know you are because I see how many views these videos get. Go ahead and subscribe now. It really helps to uh, keep us motivated, to keep us growing. Um, we're doing a great job so far, but I know we can do so much better based on the traffic that these videos generate. Drop down in the comments right now. Let me know what you think it could be. Again, just to go over the symptoms, nothing. Nothing mechanical, no mechanical symptoms. The car is not sputtering, it's not doing anything. It's driving normal, but I have the code, I think it's U109A or something like that. But let me know what y'all think and I'll tell y'all what it really is in a minute. So as I sit here and I wait uh, to diagnose Cheapo Kitty to see what's wrong with it, I just it just reminded me to have this conversation with y'all. One thing that we haven't talked about yet on here on the channel it's because everybody else has done it already is the status of this whole Hellcat Red Eye thing. Like, and the fact that now the Scat Pack is available with a wide body. And um, in addition to that, not only is it available with a wide body, the 19s, but it's also gonna come with my hood. So first of all, I wanna talk about how that makes me feel, right? That makes me feel as a Hellcat owner, jet. Yes, I understand Dodge model where if you know, you know, but forget that, man. I, <laughs> I purposely bought the top of the line, or oh, as my boy told guy, three of them would say the top of the mook, and now you can get the scat pack with the hood and the wide body. But you know what? If it helps Dodge to be able to generate, generate more revenue to keep making these extremely high horsepower cars that we drive, these halo cars, you know, demons, Hellcats, then I guess I get it, I understand. It is what it is, but for the, now the next step up is the regular Hellcat, which is now gonna come with 717 horsepower. 10 horsepower, you're not gonna feel it. And I don't even know if it's really 10 horsepower or they just really using the two to wheel number because no Hellcat, when they dyno them, any regular Hellcat, 707 horsepower car, automatic or manual, both dyno higher than what they advertise as horsepower. So they could just say, the number that's a little bit higher. I think if I'm not mistaken, it just comes with a different style intake, probably closer to like a demon intake with a direct port to it, which is gonna help, I guess. But the controversy that really comes into play before we go talk about the red eye is the hood. So this is the hood that everybody knows and loves, right? This is the Hellcat hood. It's the hood that I love. And the funny thing is this is actually in my color, which is red line red, the, the dual snorkel. Now, I haven't seen it in person, but from the videos, pictures I've seen so far, it's growing on me. It's growing on me. But when I first saw it, I was like, ew, what is that? Look like, you know, two nostrils that I can stick my finger in and pick. But anyway, the question is, so Stefan, you know, what about this whole red eye thing, right? All right, so let's talk about this. Dodge is super smart. They done created all this demand with a demon they develop these parts specifically for a demon. They're no longer gonna make, gonna make the car. So what do they do with all this engineering that they did to create the more power for the demon? And things like line lock. I forgot what it's called, but um, it basically uh, uh, gives builds a little bit of boost before you take off. Anyway, I'll put it down here what it's called. But anyway, yes, the technology that they developed for the demon it's smart that they're gonna reuse that tech, that same technology, those a lot of those same parts, and transition it into a Hellcat that they can continue to sell, so that they can keep the demon in high demand. 
That's smart. And then called it what? The Red Eye. Dodgers, they're, they're pretty good at uh, marketing. That's, that's pretty catchy. I saw Family Cruisin's video where he was making fun of Red Eye, which was really funny, dude. That was hilarious. But it's, it's, it's a good name. It's catchy. It's something that you won't remember. That Red Eye. You can make jokes with people and be like, yeah, don't let me punch you in the eye with that, that Red Eye, you know, and give you that Red Eye, or whatever the case may be. But anyway, so the question is, Stefan, is Mods of Fame going to bring one of these new cars to the channel, whether it be Scat Pack, Hellcat, or Hellcat Red Eye? The answer is yes. I promise that we are going to order a Hellcat, not a Scat Pack, sorry, a uh, Hellcat. And it, what I'm thinking about getting is, in, instead of a Red Eye, not doing a Red Eye. And why wouldn't you do the top of the line? Why wouldn't you do the craziest one? Well, because it doesn't come in a manual. And I want to stay with a manual. It is so much fun driving this car. I know, guys, the automatic is faster. It's more reliable. It doesn't get as many problems. But I'm sorry. I'm really enjoying driving this car in a stick. This is like the last of the powerful rear-wheel drive cars that come in a manual transmission. I appreciate that FCA is still doing that. So... I want to stick with that. So we are definitely going to order a pearl white or ivory trico white Hellcat wide body with a red interior. That is it for me. I'm telling y'all right now, that's what we gonna order as soon as we able to order a 19. So if you're a dealership, you watching this, feel free to send us a message. It's not a problem if you want to reach out to us and let us know, hey, we want to you know work with you guys on this next Hellcat you about to get. So I don't know when they're gonna come. I don't know when orders are gonna be available, but that's what we're gonna put in. We're gonna put in an order for a wide body, white, manual Hellcat. Yes, with the 717 horsepower. I guess I'll get used to the dual snorkel hood, but that content is definitely gonna be geared up. That'll probably be coming in. I'm assuming if I order, you know, somewhere close to now, I'm, I'm assuming they're gonna open up ordering and give allocation to dealerships probably within the next two weeks. Uh, which then we can order as people. And I'm assuming then you probably have a car by like November or something like that. So anyway, that's my thoughts on it. I know we didn't discuss it at all, but I just wanted to take a couple minutes and go over that with you guys. Because, you know, although I have other cars, predominantly the reason why a lot of you guys are here is either the Durango or Cheapo Kitty. You like the Porsche, but those are the cars you're really here for. So this is by default more of a Mopar channel anyway. So I guess we have to discuss that. Um, I was actually just talking to the, um, the sales manager while I was here, Evelyn Karma, um, going over like when allocations are coming in and they don't have that information just yet exactly. That's all I got, but let's see what's going on with Cheapo Kitty, man. Jesus Christ. Just got some words on what's going on with Cheapo Kitty. Derek, man, tell us what's going on. Well, you got a couple different codes. Um, obviously, you got the catalytic system efficiency code, which we'll take a look and see if that O2 sensor we did the last time is something to do with that. Um, you got the fuel pump control circuit unit, or open, excuse me. Um, we'll look into that. There possibly that was could have been caused with the fuses blown when the fuel pumps went. Mm -hmm. um, that could be all related on that. Um, all the other codes, I'm not really worried about. These are all just stuff, different stuff that's in the entire system. So we're going to take a look at the uh, the threshold code and the, that fuel pump module code and see what we got. All right, man. Let's see what we got, dude. All right, buddy. Jesus. <laughs> and just like that, the check engine light on. No more check engine light. Thanks to the guys here at Meadowlands of Carmel, uh, CJ specifically, or Clean Culture SRT who works on the car. So what was it? Well, it turned out to be um, the fuel pump module. Um, apparently, when it was overheating and blowing the fuse, it blew the module, basically. So... Uh, it, it wasn't given an issue before, but I guess when I went home, it just gave out. So thankfully they took care of that. Um, that's done. And uh, they just took care of it for me, man, uh, on a house. So that was pretty awesome. But now we can start actually getting Chibo Kitty ready for Sunday. Start putting on these things that we want to do. Get these wheels on, get these tires on, and a couple other little things that we haven't told you about yet but that's a surprise. But if you like this video, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, and share. But until the next one, and Cheapo Kitty with no check engine lights and ready to run, we out.
we out.